is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is super exciting because I have a special guest, Katya, going to be joining me via Zoom where she is going to talk all about chemistry at UC Berkeley. Katya is also a new member of Study Hall College Consulting, so if you're interested in learning more about her or talking with her one on one one or having her review your college application essays, definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting's website. So without further ado, let's get into Zoom. I am joined by Katya, if you want to introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Katya. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I just graduated from UC Berkeley with class of 2021 with a bachelor's of science in chemistry. On top of being a bachelor's in chemistry, I also was able to get involved with research. Um, I began by doing organic chemistry research. Uh, my first research experience was in the TOST lab where um, I was involved for about a year and a half doing organic chemistry. And I was also able to get involved with research in chemistry education. And so that was really interesting for me because I really like doing education and that wasn't in the lab. That was kind of um, studying how students learn chemistry. Outside of my major, I was very involved um, kind of on campus at Berkeley. For example, I was a paid student campus ambassador, which is like a tour guide on campus. I also worked for on-campus dining and housing sustainability um, as an energy conservation coordinator. And then some things that I did for fun, I was involved with the UC Rally Committee, which is like a spirit group on campus. I volunteered in various sustainability organizations. And then I was also involved with Ballet Flocorico, which is traditional Mexican dancing. And so obviously um, at Berkeley, even though I had a technical and rigorous major, I'm really happy that I was able to still have a very balanced schedule with extracurriculars as well. Awesome. So it sounds like you're super involved with chemistry as well as different aspects of UC Berkeley's campus. So my first question for you would be, there are two different chemistry majors at UC Berkeley. You have the Bachelor of Science within the College of Chemistry, chemistry major, and then you also have the Bachelor of Arts in chemistry within the College of Letters and Science. So could you explain a little bit like what are the difference between those? Yeah, this is such an important question and something that even we as students in the College of Chemistry look back and we're like that was a tiny decision that made a huge difference for us. And the reason for this is if you're applying to um, the UC schools and you're looking to apply in chemistry, you normally just check a box for every campus you want to do. But there's a small thing on the Berkeley app that says BA or BS. So being in a BS, like Rachel said, admits you automatically to the College of Chemistry. That's awesome. That means you hit the ground running. You're able to get into all your courses as is required from the chem major. The Bachelor of Arts, I can't entirely tell you why it was created, but I can tell you that Letters of Science, of course, has some perks at Berkeley. Um, it's a slightly more liberal arts education. And so what that means is, unfortunately, you don't have priority for some of the chemistry classes. They have allotted spots for College of Chemistry students. And so that means Basically, in your first year or so, you're always kind of talking to the administrators, um, trying to get on the wait list to make sure you get in your class. I've never seen it not work out for my peers that are kind of with the Bachelor of Arts, but it's a frustrating process, to say the least. And most of those students end up transferring to the College of Chemistry. This takes a few years for some of my friends. They got in by the end of their freshman year. For other friends, it literally took by the um, end of their senior year. And so it really does mean you kind of have to keep your grades up a little bit more just to make that successful transfer. I can think of only a few students in a major of um, kind of maybe around 50 students that um, graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry. And the students I know that did that, um, it's because they were actually double majoring in letters and science. What I will say is that the BA has a few fewer chemistry courses. So if I'm um, not mistaken, I believe physical chemistry is not part of that schedule. And that's basically known as the hardest, the hardest class in the chemistry major at Berkeley. So if you want a slightly different course load, perhaps you would choose that. But all in all, um, just having been a graduate of the College of Chemistry, I would strongly recommend applying to the Bachelor of Science because once you're in the College of Chemistry, you just have access to so many wonderful resources that aren't available in a bigger school. And so what's really special about the College of Chemistry is I think maybe we're at max 2000 students and that's when you include grad students, but that number is probably even smaller. And so we literally only have like 
three majors, chemistry, chemical biology, chemical engineering. And you're looking at letters in science, which has over 80 majors. It has 75% of our student population. For me, it was never a question if I was going to get individualized attention from my advisor in the College of Chemistry, do my classes and stuff like that. I haven't necessarily heard the same thing from my peers in the College of Letters and Science. And so I do just think that having that smaller, more tight knit community is so, so special for building camaraderie and for really getting like the individualized attention that you need when you need it. Awesome. So that tour guide knowledge definitely coming out there. So my next question for you, you briefly mentioned how the College of Chemistry, you would get admitted directly into whichever major within that college that you're interested in versus the College of Letters and Sciences. You would have to take the prerequisite courses, get certain grades if the major has a like major GPA cap, which you need to score above in order to be admitted to the major. So can you talk to the application process for the College of Chemistry online? It does does say that getting into this College of Chemistry is a lot more difficult than getting into the College of Letters and Sciences, especially because the College of Chemistry, like you were saying, only around 2,000 students, including graduate students, so it is a lot smaller. This group is self-selected, and so what that means is there are students that are extremely bright, looking to apply to chemistry, chemical biology, chemical engineering, and they are, you know, taking the opportunity to apply to this major that is notoriously difficult just for the subject matter. And so that being said, like my recommendation would be that if you want to do chemistry at Berkeley, you'd ap apply like directly to it because I think that then you're going to be considered part of that like pool just and because I'm transferring in with a Bachelor of Arts. It's not, let's put it this way. It's not really going to make a difference if you apply as the Bachelor of Art or Bachelors of Science. They're going to look at you as a chemistry applicant. So at that point, might as well be in the College of Chemistry, right? So you mentioned the College of Chemistry at Berkeley. It only has three majors, a BS in Chemistry, a BS in Chemical Engineering, and a BS in Chemical Biology. Can you explain these majors and maybe some differences that they have? Yeah, so chemical engineering is pretty cool at Berkeley because it is our only engineering major outside of the College of Engineering. And um, that's just because, honestly, your first two years do have a lot of just pure chemistry classes. Um, our chemical engineering students even take, you know, advanced organic chemistry with the chemistry students. And that's not something maybe that you would typically see. Because of this, that major is quite cool. I think that you do have such a wonderful community of um other chemical engineering students, grad students, professors, and just an incredible department that has so much research going on. So that's something that's very cool about the chemical engineering major. A lot of these students aren't so interested in going to grad school after um, their career, even with a bachelor degree, often takes them very far and lets them get industry jobs. So if that's kind of what you're looking for, chemical engineering might be a good degree for you. Chemistry, on the other hand, is very, very pure science. You literally, when you think of the mad scientist with the lab coat on making drugs, that is what my undergraduate education looked like at Berkeley in the chemistry degree. You get to do organic chemistry, physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, analytical chemistry, lab. Um, all of this stuff is part of it. And um, it's just extremely well taught by literally some of the best chemistry professors in the field, in the world, in history. And so it's an awesome place to be for that. Chemical biology is a small tangent of chemistry. You might have heard of biochemistry. We also have that major in at Berkeley. That would be in the College of Letters and Science. What's different about chemical biology is you are looking at biology with a chemical standpoint. And so the classes you'll actually look if you check out the schedule online are extremely similar to chemistry. And they only deviate a little bit towards the end where they take a few more biology classes. Many of my peers switched from chemistry to chemical biology in their undergrad. In fact, it's notorious. I think I was the only person in my friend group that didn't make the switch. And um, this is just because, you know, they find maybe some more fun applications with the biology side. I stand by my chemistry because that's really what I was passionate about. But chemical biology can, you know, perhaps even be a pre-med major. If you're interested in going into medical school, it has a little bit more overlap with that as well. And then I did briefly mention that students switch majors. And so that is extremely easy in college of chemistry. Those people who are going from chemical engineering to chemistry, the other way around, flipping between all three majors in their time there, it's a super seamless process, especially because we all start off taking the same chemistry, math, and physics courses. 
Oh my gosh, it sounds so difficult, these classes. For me, I was not a fan of AP chemistry in high school, so I could never take any of those like super, super hard <laughs> classes. So for my next question, how did you get into chemistry? Why did you apply to Berkeley's College of Chemistry over any other like college or major or track that you may have been interested in? I don't think I was the most conventional student applicant in that since I was, you know, a junior in high school, I was like, ooh, I like this subject chemistry. And I stuck with that through my college and through my college application process. And I graduated and I'm happy I got the chemistry degree. It's extremely common to question your major to not know exactly what you want to do from the get go. But I can honestly say that I just had the most inspiring educators in high school. Um, chemistry is known for being a challenging subject, and I seem to do well in it. And I think the idea that there was something that was like difficult for me, it was a challenge. And yet I was also succeeding in it was like very rewarding for me. And that was just so fun. Um, There's so many things you can do with a chemistry degree. It's honestly considered a pretty like well-rounded degree, very technical. Um, it can lead, lead you on to many careers. And so I loved having those open doors. In terms of why I specifically did it at Berkeley, if you're typing in, you know, best schools for chemistry, you're going to see us on the top of every single list. It um, is the best place in the world to study basically any kind of chemistry. These rankings do come from kind of the research that is being done, um, especially by graduate students, but the undergraduate education reflects those rankings. So it is top, top tier. I've talked to students who study chemistry at other schools and they're like, I've never seen this stuff in my life. So that's something to consider that it's going to be, you know, a challenging education, but it's going to be the best education. I don't want to get too far ahead. But this reflects when you enter the work world, uh, a Berkeley chemistry degree is known by chemists um, in every chem lab around the world, which is wonderful. <laughs> so final question for you. So more on the college related side. So for the College of Chemistry, how would you say the atmosphere is in classes? Would you say that it's more like cutthroat or collaborative? Being in a small college at Berkeley is a special experience. Most students don't have that. You know, we're a huge public institution, but when I think of graduating chemistry at Berkeley, first of all, it's still surreal that I did it. It was so challenging but rewarding at the same time. And second of all, I did it because of my people. Um, I struggled so much my first semester freshman year because I was doing every single homework assignment on my own, spending five, six hours doing them every week. And I was failing every single one. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with me? I felt so stupid. I felt so behind my peers and they were all one step ahead of me already forming study groups. Um, I just had never done that before in high school and didn't realize that the way that you pass this major, the way that you succeed in this major is by working with others. It's not cheating. It's exactly that. It's collaborating. Um, your teachers, your professors expect you to work together, to support each other, to get those questions. They expect you to go to office hours because these are you know, really challenging problems that you're not going to find no matter how much you Google on the internet, you have to use the resources you have in your class, um, which includes your peers, your professors, your graduate student instructors. And so because of that, competitive is never a word that would come to mind for me. The competition is there because students put it on themselves. They have you know, a really high standard for themselves. And some students want to get really high grades. If anything, I was harder on myself but I was never, ever thinking of comparing myself to my peers, if that makes sense. It was just me getting through this and doing the best that I can um, because I have my own unique experience and skills in this major. So Katia, do you have any like final words of wisdom for the people watching? Yeah, I would just say that if you want to study chemistry, like it would be, it's such a exciting, that would be the word that comes to mind to do it at Berkeley. I actually like ended up coming to Berkeley because when I was deciding I went to visit campus and um, the chemistry department was throwing around all these names of like Nobel Prize winners names that you see on the periodic table because like a famous professor there they named an element after them and so like the fact that like our um, department is so integrated in the history of chemistry I feel like it's such an exciting thing and you are surrounded by it every day and so if you don't like organic chemistry try physical chemistry we have some amazing physical chemists try inorganic chemistry it's all there for you to explore for you to think about where you want to go for your career for you to think about if you want to go to grad school after and um, there's just so many people excited in the chemistry world there so it's just going to open so many doors for you for the rest of your life which is amazing.
Awesome. I can definitely hear your passion for chemistry <laughs> shining through during this interview. So that was my last question for you. Definitely for anyone watching this, like Katya mentioned, she is a new member of Study Hall College Consulting. So if you wanted to check out all of her information and everything like that, definitely check out our website. And if you wanted to talk one-on-one -on -one with her, we do have a college and career coaching call service that you can also see on our website. Hopefully you all found this video helpful. Definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.